Chinese fishing. Right, it's Ander here. I've uh, not put up a video for a while, so hopefully there's, hopefully there's some good ones coming up. I've been really busy. I'm sorry. Um, channel's still good. I'm gonna gonna put up put up a heap. So I've driven 1,600 kilometres south into New South Wales. I'm meeting up with Clint, and we're gonna head down to the Clarence catchment. So I've got the camper on the roof. I've got the canoe on the roof. I've got everything packed in here. I've got a, about an hour and a half to go, and I meet up with Clint. So let's drive. This is the Namboida River, the bridge, and Clint, oh there he is, Clint right there. Okay, I'll have to do a U-turn. Oh, that looks nice. Check that out. Alright, we're about to see Clint and have a good look at the river. This is, uh, yeah, exciting. I haven't actually fished with Clint for over a year now, so yeah, it'd be good to see him and have a fish with him. Okay, a bit of a gate here. I'm guessing we're allowed to open it. There's cars already down there. Always leave gates how you found them. Doesn't matter where you are or what you're doing, always leave them exactly how you found them. So, Clint's car, and he'll be either asleep or in the water. Let's have a look. Okay, there's some noise coming from down here. Where's Clint? <laughs> How you going? I was just wondering, I hope the cars don't fall on me. <laughs> <laughs> How are you? So you found a spot to have a swim. Oh, best. Oh, this is going to be nice. Oh, it's a nice temperature. Yeah, it's not cold. It's no. Cold. no, it's beautiful. Oh. Shimmy, the, shimmy the shrimps this year. <laughs> How are you? Good. Oh, finally got here. Oh. Oh, under tow. <laughs> you get sucked out, you get sucked out, eh? Undertow. Oh, I'm just gonna sink right. Oh, how nice is that? Oh. It's kind of too perfect. It is, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I, I talked to a guy in tackle shop just a little while mm. ago and he said, oh, the rivers are all, they got weed on them, you can't kayak. That's what he said. And I I'm, spoke to a guy. And I'm like, <laughs> oh. Hey, that, that sign I saw that said no fishing? Yeah. August to October, I think. So right. it's the bass spawning season. I was over close season on the bass here. Yeah, yeah. That's so, so good. So we're fine. Yeah, We're going to have a fish here. We're going to have a fish here. This, this, I reckon we might. We can just hear it, but someone did there mention is, to me there's that a there's water. a weir. Yeah, there's some water yeah. coming down. Yeah. He mentioned there was a weir down here. I didn't yeah. hear it before. Well... Maybe we portage around the weir or something. But even upstream there, yeah. if that is upstream. By the, by the cows. Well, that swim was really nice, and we don't really have a plan, but the river looks so good. Didn't expect it to. Well, actually, kind of, kind of was hoping. And uh, Clint's already getting his gear ready. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to have a fish right here. And uh, <laughs> he's excited, I'm excited. <laughs> This uh, yeah, this is this is really cool. Oh, another one! <laughs> <laughs> oh, he got some new spinner baits. So I'll be I'll be using some lures from from different people. So. Nice hat, Mr. Lifesaver. <laughs> yeah, yeah, little whistle. I put about three or four of those jumping ants in your canoe too. Oh, yeah. I just I just got stung by a um, inch long uh, jack jumper, and uh, yeah, that hurt for a while. But it's, it's all good now. I'm not going to pass out. This is where you do the solo man thing and just jump in it. Yeah. Off the <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which way are you going? That way. Oh, I didn't put the bung in. Oh bugger. <laughs> Hey, 
Clint, you're supposed to be in the canoe. <laughs> I fell out. You fell out. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna start over by those cows and see what we can catch. All right. First cast of the trip. Always like to film my first cast. There we go. And this is actually a, a new reel. I'll um I'll talk about that later. This is really cool. I reckon. <laughs> It's just just nice to be somewhere you've never fished before, eh? Oh, that and just... And it's, that's a nice day. Look at it. Sun's about to go down. We've got no crocodiles, no sharks. <laughs> it's not salty we, we water. Can, if we fall out, it's fine. Yeah. We just have to get our gear. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and it's just so... It's just beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Let's catch some dinner. Let's. Yeah. Hey, um, looks like a lot of current coming down here. So I'm thinking the fish will ambush on these points. Oh, that was a touch. There you go. Fifth or sixth cast I got a hit. Okay, get out and portage a little bit. Oh, I'll just drag it up, really. Uh. Back out. Back in the, back this way. Alright, Clint's not used to kayaking. Oh, it's a bit deep here. Yeah, I can't come and get you because it's too bloody deep here. Alright, we're gonna go save Clint, hopefully. We don't need to capsize. Yeah, it's alright, stay there. Uh, Fucking hell. Well, I'll tell you what, I'll get my canoe, I'll go on the other side and I'll, I'll come through the tree there. Because you need to get rid of those rods so you can just focus on staying upright. Oh. Right. So I'm going to go and get my canoe, go to the other side of the bank and get rid, get Clint's rods off him so he doesn't have to worry about his rods. And then he can hopefully manoeuvre the canoe out of where he's, he's actually stuck there with the current and he's holding onto a tree. So, let's hope there's no snakes in here. Okay, there we go. You had to pick a good spot like this, didn't you? Bloody... I'm not sure if I'm going to get Come it. around through there. Yeah, I have to go that way. Oh, f***ing wrist through had to fall off. Yeah. It's bloody, that's where the bass are hiding in this oh. deep hole here. Oh, okay, I'm coming. Oh. No idea how deep it is under there. Oh. Alright, give me that one first. No, that's right, you hold, you hang on, you stabilize yourself. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go over, man. No, you're not. Just pay every bit of attention to staying upright. No, no you hang, you stabilize. Yeah, get it, quick, quick, quick. Yeah, got it, I got it. Hold your paddle. Yep. All right, so... Watch we, that lure. Yeah, it's, oh, all, yeah, good. it's, it's all, right. all good. It's all good. So what you're going to do is just... Oh, just... I can come back a little bit now. Yeah. So you don't want to... anything I can grab onto here. Yeah. This is like a good... I didn't want to break my rods. No, man. no, no. Don't go sideways. No, don't go sideways. Yeah. Get in there. They're both safe. Yep, yeah, they're safe. safe. I don't know what I'm standing on here. It's like just oh. black water. I'm on two so branches sorry, here. Man. No, that's all right. But yeah, we, we yeah, should have stayed on. Oh, I guess sideways. I didn't even think. I've never been done that before. Oh, yeah. I didn't even film that part. <laughs> uh, he, had, he had to go through here, and then he's he's in the safe water there. All right, we got his rods here. My, oh, and they had like I said, I don't know how deep it is here. Oh. 
That's probably going to slow the fishing now. That was about half an hour worth. But that's all right. That's part of the adventure. Oh, all right. Grab some rods out of the trees. Oh, there we go. Here we go. We should practice that on the grass, eh? Yeah, that's why I didn't want to go across. You're feeling very majestic there. Oh, oh that was terrible. Yeah, but at least you didn't go over. Oh, so Here's your rod back. Thanks. <laughs> There's no shame in that. It's a bloody dangerous position to get into. And it's the first time you're in this kayak, isn't it? Like in, in this... Second time. In this sort of... Stupid. Never in rapids. No. That's no. the first time ever in rapids. Yeah. Well, you got to you got to assess every situation differently, eh? Yeah. But you want to really avoid that fast water. Avoid the fast water. Yeah. And number one is staying upright and breathing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <sighs> yeah. So a little bit of an exciting afternoon. I don't know if you guys can see this. It's um, getting pretty dark. We're going to go through that rapid again and um, set up camp. So. Can't see what's going on. Um, it's very hard to fish a new place when you can't see what's going on. So, don't know how deep it is. Don't know if the, there's structure there. Uh, we'll give it another go in the morning. Set up camp. Have a nice, nice evening. Chat about fishing. Catch up, and then uh, yeah, hit the water again tomorrow. All right. Maybe we should get these open. What do you reckon? I reckon. Are they twisties? Yep, they're twisties. Alright. Oh! That smells oh. really good. Yeah. Oh, that's really nice. Lychee cider. Lychee gold. Mm. Mm. Very nice. That is actually really good. <laughs> hey. What's she doing there? Hey? There's your friend there, Clint. Oh, no. Get off my guide rope. <laughs> oh, she's going to tear your thing down. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, she'll stand. She'll go over it. Oh, look, at, look at that. Bloody gentle was that. Yeah. Most of the cattle I've ever been around, they're real, especially the young ones. Yeah. Hey, what you doing? They're all jumpy. What you doing? These guys are so calm. Mm hmm. Stealing my food off the table. And no, no pooing here, please. Uh, <laughs> good luck with that. I'm just cooking up some breakfast. I uh, just heard Clint stirring in the in the um, Toyota Cruiser. Oh, there he is! I think he's coming out. Oh, blinded! Is that a Clint? <laughs> uh, yeah, he's, he's awake. He's awake. So we'll have some breakfast and go for another fish. Hopefully, we get some lunch. Otherwise, it's going to be sausages. Oh boy, do they look real. <laughs> You're on. Nice. Coming over. Clint using his spinner bait along the rocky edge there. What is it? A small bass. A small bass? We're actually pretty it's a cod. Yeah, nice little really east small cod. Little eastern cod. Wow. This would be your first one, would it? Yeah. Very nice. Oh! <laughs> you are going straight home. Yeah. If you do a really hard lip grip, actually I'll just do it for you. Yeah, I'll do it. You got it? got no teeth. Really it. hard so he doesn't move? Yeah. I'll do it. That's Flat it. In. That's it. I'll get that hook for you. Oh, he's very dark, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. Right in that jaw. Hang on, hold him steady. See? Yep. yep, there he is. Hold him up. 
Beautiful little fish. Absolutely gorgeous and put him straight yep, home. Yeah, put him back. There we go. He'll be right to go. See ya. Awesome. Nice work. <laughs> Love it. More to come. Did you run aground? Have a look what's coming ahead. Yep, I got him. I got a fish. How cool. And Clint said, yep, right in that snag. And I agreed with him. What have we got? Looks like an eastern cod again. You had a follow? Nice. Let's get this guy in. Not a bad little fish. Maybe 40, just 40. Yeah, yep. Oh, down there. Hook. Come on. There we go. That wasn't too hard. Okay, nice little fish. There we go. Beautiful. Yeah, he should be right to go. Okay. Off you go, fish. Beautiful. Nice. So while we're parked up here, I'll just show you the spinner bait I got him on. I've been trying all sorts of different different lures. Um, this is like a, I think it's a one quarter ounce spinner bait, a little skirt on it, just real simple, single blade. Um, and yeah, I was going to mention the, the reel as well, it's a Ecoda. And it's actually not really on the market yet, I don't think. It's the um, Black Hawk 2, 2000 size. And it's a very, very nice reel. It's got a uh, good drag on it. And you, like you can, if you remember what setting you want, you can put it back on the same setting. And that's matched up to the Samaki Zing, uh, 4 to 10 pound, 5 foot 4. Nice little rod for casting in the kayak, so yeah, great little combo. And uh, thanks to Ikoda, they actually um, donated that reel to me. And uh, yeah, you'll be, you'll be seeing more of that very soon. Oh! <laughs> Halfway out, another Eastern Cod. He's a little fella, this one. Ah. Ah. Okay, let's get him in. Come on, little fella. Okay, I'm not even trying to do him in the water. Right. Ah. I'll show you guys what cod thumb is in a minute. Oh. There we go. Little tiny fella, 31, 32 or something. See, off you go. There you go. All right, now, if you hear of someone saying, I've got cod thumb, it's that. The, all this torn up, there's a little bit of blood there. Yeah, the big ones you don't want to hold with your, with your finger, because they'll tear it up. But those little ones aren't too bad, okay. So we're getting a few of those eastern cods, but um, we can't take them. They're um, no, no catch, no target. I've got the spinner bait on, and that's um, that's what I got him on again. That's what we're trying to hope to catch the bass on. But there's looks like there's a lot more eastern cod than there are bass in this river. So the rain set in. I don't know how long we're going to fish for, but we'll keep trying. Oh, 
It's like, oh, I don't know. Yep. I think there's a bass and a catfish chasing it. That was a hard hit for a bass. Wow. <laughs> oh, if I get it in, we might have dinner. Oh, look how big it is. Oh, that was a very hard hit for a bass. Wow. And yeah, there was a catfish right next to him. So I think he was just trying to grab it before the catfish got it. Yeah, I think, oh, that could be just dinner for one, I think. Not huge. Oh, nice. We got one. Woohoo! Let's have a look at him. Actually, he's not bad at all. Oh. Yeah. Let's have a look at him. Yeah, he's a good 31. That'll be my dinner for tonight. Beautiful. I haven't decided how I'm going to cook him yet, but um, yeah, stay tuned. And we'll cook up Mr. Bass on the campsite. Hey, hey little dude. So because I don't want to kill him just yet, I want to keep fishing a little bit longer. I'm going to get a, a fish for Clint, or he's got to get one. We've only got one so far. I'm just tied him on. And I'm just going to let him swim down by the kayak there. There he is. So just settle in there, stay alive, and then um, yeah, he'll be nice and fresh for when I, when I eat him. I'll just show you what I got that bass on. It's actually a really old spinnerbait. I've put a different skirt on it, and um, I've gone to gold blades. Now, it's a bigger setup, um, still trying to catch bass, but the gold blades and a little bit dirty water actually stand out really nicely. And they, um, yeah, obviously worked. So we'll see if we can get get some more. We want to clean at least. So Clint and I fished long and hard, and I only got one bass for the day. Lots of easterns, eastern cod. Clint's still out there somewhere, um, fishing off the rocks, just um, trying to try and surface at night. And I'm going to show you how to uh, cook up the bass probably the easiest way I know how. I'm just going to make a, a bit of a broth and just boil the little bits of fillet in the broth. Um, three ingredients, I'll show you them in a second. It's, um, it's quite late and I just want to go to bed, so a long day in the sun. Uh, but yeah, really easy. So here's our ingredients. I've got Mr. Bass, 500 mils of, of water and some miso soup packets. I'm going to use two of those for about 500 mils of water. And with the bass, what I did, I brain spiked him, pushed the, the spike in here, wiggled around, destroyed his brain, and then put him on ice so that makes him easy to fill it. I want to fill it this guy and then cut him into strips. So in future episodes, I'll, um, I'll sort out some better lighting. Lighting at night for me has always been an issue. Uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to get our really nice sharp knife. This is a buck knife if anyone's interested. And we're going to take the fillets off this fish. Just go along the top like so. Right, nice and sharp. And I'm going to avoid the stomach cavity because this fish has been dead for a few hours. It's been in the esky. Um, as I uh, do more of these episodes, if you guys like them, please let me know. And I'll get a better setup. Like at the moment, I've only got a, uh, an esky, which I've got to get ice for. It's a bit of a pain, but um, yeah, I can't really afford a fridge at the moment. So we'll do, so we just score the top and we've gone down to the backbone. And then I flip him over and we'll do the same thing on the other side. I do that because if you take one fillet off, then the fish is lopsided. And it's much easier to fill it when the fish has still got fillets on both sides. And a uh, sharp knife like this is, is essential. In one of my previous episodes, I ate a tilapia and I had a really blunt knife in that episode. So, a knife like this makes it so much better. Okay, go through here. Like so. And now we should be able to just take 
and you're probably not going to be able to see this actually I'll, I'll try and do it like so so you can see what's going on cut through here Do it this way, so yeah, not not the best way to do it that, that way. Nice white meat here, and a few pin bones in the middle here. But there we go. That should be them. That's it. It's a nice, nice fillet, and pin bones are, uh, there's one there, but that's, that's pretty good. So I'll give that a little wash in water, and then I take the skin off and make little, little fillets. So I won't bore you with the other side, but I'll do exactly the same on the other side. Just rip that off. So there we have our two nice little fillets, and I'm pretty sure, no, there's no pin bones, no, all good. So we'll just take the skin off. We'll just slice down that. And really all you want to do is have the knife flat or at about a 15 degree angle that way. And then just what you do is you can almost hold the knife still and pull the skin out. There we go, that's one. Beautifully done. Put that down here. And then we'll do the other one. This is um, a very simple recipe and you only need really the miso, miso paste. And nice and light, won't bog you down. And you'll have good bacteria in your stomach as well. There we go, that's a nice little skin there. And what we'll do is we'll cut him this way. Oh, that was a bone there. I'll just get rid of that. Okay, and we'll just cut them across there like so. We want to make these oh, about five, six mil thick. So they all cook evenly. They, they won't take long to cook at all. They'll take maybe five or six minutes. So then we get our U-Butte little traveling stove. Click the gas on. Put that over here. Go, flame is. And what's, what do we got floating here? We got a scale in here already. Take the scales out; they're not so nice. Now we'll just um, when you boil water, always put a lid on it. It's a very simple thing to do, and it just saves you so much more gas. And then we'll get that boiling, and then we'll put these two packets in. So I can just hear that starting to boil now. There we go. We'll whack two packets of the miso paste in. There we go. That's one and one. And two. We'll just let that go for a little bit. There we go. Yeah. There we go, it's really boiling now. Now, what we do is we get our fish and we simply Drop our fish in. There we go. Now if it stops boiling, which it will, I'm just going to let it cook for a little bit longer. You can see that fish is already turning white. I think I can show you that. That's actually, um, yeah, the, the soup has cleared up nicely. The fish is cooked. And it's just moving around like good miso should. So I'm going to eat that. I don't know where Clint is. He's still out there somewhere. Haven't heard from him. So he might be eating sausages and um, yeah, bread again. So let's try this. I'm, I'm just holding it with the, the bowl, the sorry, the plate, because uh, this, this bowl here, the, the pot, is actually really hot. So I'll we'll grab a nice piece of bass out. Might be a bit too big to stick in my mouth. There we go. I haven't eaten a lot of bass, but mm, tastes nice. Mmm. Yep. 
So I'm going to eat my dinner. Let's try the, try the soup a little bit. It's still very hot. It's actually actually still really hot everywhere because um, yeah, the days are so hot. Mm, nice, nice. Let me know if you really enjoy these catch and cook videos. They take a lot, little bit longer to make, um, but I, I think they're more interesting for a lot of people. So yeah, let me know in the comments if you want more of these. So if you keep watching, there'll be some probably some outtakes or the fish that I didn't show that we actually caught. Um, we we probably caught more fish than I showed at the start. So keep watching, and uh, you might see some bloopers. You might see some extra fish. Tomorrow we're going to drive to another river which will be another episode and uh, hopefully this time catch some bass it's um, yeah, very tough conditions but I, I, I feel we, we, we should be able to nut out some bass mmm very simple three ingredients and uh, yeah tasty and wholesome Oh, too short. Got him, yep. Really? Yep, got him. There he is. What is he? I'm going to call him for an eastern cod again. Seems to be nothing but these in this river. He's a good size, actually. Swimming backwards. Oh, yeah? I'm on two. I was. Yeah? Look at that. Nice colours on him. You're on. Nice. Double hookup. You got a cod as well, or? Yeah, that'd be a cod, I'd say. Nice. Mine's, mine's a big dude. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. Okay. Go right into the lens. And down. There you go. Beautiful. A couple of codsters and straight back in the water. I'll just let mine sit there. Is yours ready to release? Yep, got him. Got him, that's... What is that? Oh, another eastern cod. Ah. Ah, no bass. Where are all the bass in this river? There we go. He's about a good 45 centimetre. Nice little eastern cod. And put him right back there. Okay, off we go. There he goes. Beautiful, but yeah, no bass. Still see him swimming there. Yeah, like at home it was flooding. It was, um, I think, 400 millimeters I got at home before I left. So there was not going to be any fishing for the next week and a half. And I think it rained since I left. So I think I've had another 200 millimeters. I'm going to get in there with you. This is Fanny from Andy's fishing spot. <laughs> I just showed everyone where it is. <laughs> you can't show anyone. <laughs> oh, way too fast. Oh, got him. Oh, that was a good one. Is it? Yeah. Oh, he's got it. No. <laughs> it? Oh, it's an eastern. I didn't know what it was when he first hit it, and then he came out the second time. Ah, oh, 
Hey, little fish. Hmm. Oh, he's alright. He's 40 odd again. There we go. Hey. That line out of you. And off you go. Thanks for watching, hopefully you enjoyed that. If you want to watch more videos straight away, click way up there. Otherwise, if you want to uh, see my videos as they're uploaded, click the subscribe button, you get notified straight away. And anyone who wants to help me make bigger and better videos, I've got PayPal and Patreon. So pay PayPal is really good for um, just one-off donations, but you can do monthly as well. And some people may not, may not want to use PayPal, you can do Patreon. So yeah, thanks for watching and hopefully more to come very soon.